The following video is a portion of my video about drafting as the 33rd team in the NFL, where I give my team the last pick in every round, and I draft players as if I was an NFL team. I wanted to make a standalone video in case you didn't want to watch all of that, but I'd really appreciate it if you checked out that video as well, as there's a full scouting report for almost every player I drafted. In that video, I also addressed all of the character concerns issues about Rattler and the QB1 documentary and all of that stuff, but here I'll be skipping directly to the football part, and playing that section of the video in its entirety otherwise. Thanks guys, now enjoy. But now that we've addressed the elephant in the room, let's talk about Rattler on the field, because I loved his tape. He's a very high floor option with some traits that raise his ceiling. In college, he was tasked with making full field reads, and he showed the ability to do so, finding the right throw and delivering the ball accurately. He's willing to attack every area of the field and is very adept at throwing into tight windows into the middle of the field. He has solid zip on his throws, and he has impressive ball placement most of the time, showing the ability to throw receivers open rather than waiting for them to get open. In general, he's extremely accurate, as his on-target percentage ranked third in the FBS, his 79.4% adjusted completion percentage was ninth best in the NCAA, and his 68.9%, almost nice, completion percentage actually set a school record. He retains this accuracy when throwing off platform and on the run, and regardless of his base, he rarely misses easy throws, allowing him to convert the layups for his offense. His mechanics are also very polished, especially his lower half mechanics. He throws with an excellent base, his eyes and feet work in tandem while he's processing his reads, allowing him to fire the ball as soon as he sees an open window, and he has a quick and efficient throwing motion. His pocket presence is good for the most part, often sensing the right times to step up or out of the pocket, and his toughness shows in his willingness to stand in the pocket and deliver throws with defenders bearing down on him. He's not a high-level athlete by any means, but he's definitely good enough to buy time in the pocket or pick up easy yards, and he has great instincts as a playmaker. Despite not being an amazing athlete, he often slips out of sacks, evades defenders in the pocket, and finds opportunities to make unconventional plays. When moving throughout the pocket, he keeps his eyes downfield, looking for potential throws, and he's very willing to reset and throw when moved off his spot, rather than taking off too early. When under pressure, he seemed to be very calm and collected for the most part, and in general, but not always, made good decisions to throw the ball away. Rattler was under pressure an absolute ton, as his offensive line at South Carolina was atrocious. So much so that his 855 yards passing while under pressure were the third most in college football. I have no earthly idea why the offensive coordinator kept calling plays with long developing route concepts knowing how bad the offensive line was, because Rattler rarely had sufficient time to actually read out the concepts. But in a sense, this does work in his favor, because having all of this experience under pressure required him to speed up his processing and also prepared him for the NFL life, where the time to throw is just much shorter. Even if the offensive line did hold up, there were so many plays where wide receivers just didn't get open, which again gave him experience making NFL level throws into tight windows. He delivered some amazing passes into these tight windows, and many times they were dropped, which just shows that he clearly matured, because I would be a bad teammate too if all my highlight tight window throws were being dropped. But besides the character questions, there are definitely some concerns surrounding his size, ceiling, and consistency. At 6 foot and 211 pounds, Rattler is in the 6th percentile for height and the 13th percentile for weight. His shorter stature hurts his ability to throw in compressed pockets, hurts his ability to read the development of the play, and will lead to batted balls. His arm strength is only just alright. He struggles to hit throws to the opposite hash, and he frequently underthrows deep balls, leading to interceptions and requiring wide receivers to work back to the ball rather than being able to catch it in stride and continue to run. But it's not just the fact that he underthrows the ball, it's also the fact that he keeps doing it as a result of being overconfident in his arm strength, leading to his mind writing checks that his body just can't cash. It's also a problem when he throws off platform, where he loses even more air on the ball, resulting in him underthrowing some balls when throwing on the run. His play in general can also just be very inconsistent in many parts of his game that he usually excels at. Starting with decision making, he'll make excellent decisions like 90% of the time, and then he'll make some really stupid decisions like 10% of the time. Some of them are just stupid throws off platform, under pressure in an attempt to make a play, and others are throws where he misreads the defense or just completely misses a second level defender. His ball placement is also excellent for the most part, but can be inconsistent. Specifically, he really struggles to hit wide receivers in stride in the middle of the field, often throwing on the back of their hip rather than leading them. Reading the field, he's generally good, but he'll miss a few plays here and there, and he never seems to attempt hole shots. 
I think I saw him turn down around five hole shots while I watched him, and I'm not really sure why he won't throw them to open wide receivers. He'll also predetermine reads at times, throwing the ball to receivers when the look is just not there. He's also not always great at reading the leverage of DBs, leading to dangerous throws, and he can be slow to recognize blitzes at times and find his hot route. I also just found that he was like slightly late on some throws as a result of sticking onto his first read too long or waiting for routes to come open instead of throwing with anticipation. His pocket presence was good for the most part, but there were definitely a few times where he broke the pocket too early or stepped up into a crowded pocket, basically handing the defense a sack on the rare instance where his offensive line didn't just give up a sack immediately. Outside of the inconsistencies in those areas, his play is still at a high enough level for most of the time to consider him a potential starter in the NFL with a high floor, even if he may not necessarily become a superstar or anything. For a team that doesn't have access to free agency, trades, or a top 32 pick, it'll be difficult to get elite quarterback talent, and I think Rattler's excellent floor, combined with playmaking ability to potentially raise his ceiling a bit, makes him one of the better options for a quarterback I could pick in an exercise like this. If he cleans up some of his inconsistencies, he'll really only just be limited by his height, which is a limitation that's been overcome before, even by a quarterback that's played on his same team. With all that said, I'm very happy to have Rattler leading the Jumbo Package team. It's my quarterback.